So, while I've been clearing this shithole out, I found something which I think might interest you guys. Take a look at this. Bum, bum, bum. This is the official worst guitar in the world. It was my very first electric guitar. I got it for Christmas when I was 14. Obviously, it didn't look like this when I uh, got given it, but not far off. Um, it's an encore body. It had a single humbucker in the middle here. Um, and I think this is the original neck. It might be. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, it had a single humbucker. And this guitar has been basically every colour under the sun. Uh, every colour you can imagine. That's what the back looks like. So on this lovely guitar, I'll show you some more stuff. This is the headstock. It's obviously been cut off into a funny shape. Um, I don't recall doing that, but I suppose I must have done. Um, I was going to fit a Floyd Rose nut on it and Floyd Rose on it, but I decided not to in the end, so I've just stuck a piece of wood there um, for the nut to sit in. The nut was sitting in it last time I saw it, but <laughs> it's obviously fallen out. Um, it's worth bearing in mind this whole time that this was deliberately supposed to look as horrible as possible. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You see the tuners? We've got some uh, interesting tuners. I don't even know where they were from. I think this is, these ones are from like a CB Sky 333 ripoff type thing. These were from, uh, you remember the first build, the, uh, the acoustic restoration I did? These were from the acoustic. These two here. I don't know where the rest of them are. They function pretty well. Um, move down the neck. See, there's the truss rod stripe. Very thin now fretboard because it's been sanded so many times and it's got no radius to it at the moment and it's very sharp along the edges. You wouldn't want to play it like this. Move the uh, neck, the join, and as you can see, I've glued it in now. Because I'm never, but look at look how uneven it is. I don't know if you'd be able to see how much of a bow there is to it if I move the camera down the edge. Well, it's not too bad that way, but it is pissed this way. If I set it down, you should be able to see that next. Not straight. Actually, it's not too bad. <laughs> I've seen worse, to be fair. But yeah. So, so the body we've got. I don't know where that bridge came from, I think it was from uh, an old Yamaha Pacifica. So you've got a couple of odd saddles on there. Springs that don't match, rusted up a tree. This pit guard was the, uh, this, the original Encore body, never had a pit guard on it. It was just a blank guitar, the, had a pickup surround. Um, so I cut this pit guard to make it fit, obviously keeping it in uh, with the rest of the guitar, keeping it in theme. Made it as ugly as possible. Right under here, under the pit guard, because it's not held down very well, you'd be able to see these mucky pickup cavities. They're not great. <laughs> it's been filled with fiberglass and wood and God knows what else over the years. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't get rid of it. I'm gonna get it playing at some point. Let's see what it sounds like. This is the only guitar I have which I've never played live. Never used it to play live at all. The electronics are there. You can see there. Um, so I, I intend to use it live one time, at least. Be a bit difficult because I play the bass when I play live. So <laughs> see this quality uh, neck join there. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So the ugliest guitar in the world. I'm I'm sort of semi tempted to clean it up and get it looking respectable again, but on the other hand. There's, uh, there's some sort of raw sexual magnetism about it looking like this. I think we should leave it. Um, or we could see how much abuse it can take. It's really taken a fair amount. I mean, I was sanding and it fell off a shelf and landed on my head. Hence all these scuffs here because I picked it up and launched it across the room. <laughs> like that. But yeah, so that is... My very first guitar, and I'm gonna get it wired up. I'm gonna show you how it sounds with that one single coil pickup in it. No idea if it'll even work. So, yeah, I thought you might find that interesting. Um, 
stay tuned for more shit basically and subscribe and share